an Australian kicker. One, two steps to the right. He kicks it, hangs it in the air. It's got a little backspin. Anthony Evans is going to return this one. He makes the first few men miss, and now he's off to the races across midfield into Golden Eagle territory on the far sideline, returning it all the way down to inside the 25 to the 23-yard line before he's run out of bounds into the Golden Eagle sideline. A fine return. What a return. What field position here to start for the Dogs. 41-yard return after a 32-yard punt. Georgia almost in the red zone to start their first possession. Back with a touchdown throw in the corner, I think. Yeah, touchdown. (laughs) One throw, one catch, one score. Dylan Bell in the near left corner of the end zone, falling down out of the side, the left side of the end zone. He caught it with both arms. And Georgia quickly, one offensive play into the game on the board with their first touchdown of the day. Dogs had man-free coverage there, just a post corner by Dylan Bell, completely turned the Golden Eagle defender around, and nice job getting to that football, almost overthrown there by Carson Beck, but the speed of Dylan Bell to close, and then the dive, and able to keep his feet in bounds. Can't ask for a better way to start. My goodness, set up by a 41-yard punt return by uh, Anthony Evans, and then a 22-yard touchdown throw from Beck to Bell, and the point after try by Peyton Woodring is up and good. He continues his consecutive streak there with PATs. That Georgia touchdown brought to you by Engineered Solutions of Georgia, proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs. 7 to nothing. Dogs lead, 12-27 to go. Carson and Dogs knocking, knocking on the doorstep once again. 14 yards on that play and goal to go for Georgia. Tennessee Tech's defense has no answer yet. Beck with time dumps it all across the middle and trotting into the end zone is Colby Young for an easy uncontested score. And just like that, George is up 13 to nothing. Boy, too easy right there. Again, just a crossing route by Colby Young in the entire middle of the field. Again, completely vacated by the Golden Eagles. My goodness, just drove right down the field. A beautiful drive. For, did they even have a second down on that position? <laughs> there weren't many. It was just first down after first down. There was one second down play in that drive. Wow. From the right-footed kicker, Peyton Woodring. Takes a look at the goal post. There's the snap of the hold, and the kick is up in the air, and the kick splits the uprights good. Woodring with the field goal, 28-yarder. And Georgia, with that good kick, the good hands at Allstate will contribute to the Georgia Bulldogs General Scholarship Fund. Thank you, Allstate. 17 to nothing is your score now. Georgia leading here in the first half with 11.45 to go. In the second quarter, scoring drive for the Dogs. 14 plays, 71 yards. It took 5.07, and the result, a 27, officially, 27-yard field goal. So we'll try again from the 10. Beck chased out of the pocket, rolls to the right, looking into the end zone. He fires a bullet. It's caught in the front right corner, right at the pylon. Touchdown, Georgia. Dominic Lovett. Boy, great job there by Carson Beck extending that play. And then good job by Lovett to break his route off, come back towards the pylon. And you're right, it was a laser by Carson Beck. Ten-yard touchdown throw for Beck, his third of the half. And Georgia has gone up 23 to nothing with the point after coming. That Georgia touchdown brought to you by Engineered Solutions of Georgia, proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs. Nice job of extending the play by Carson. Dogs moving to our left towards the west end zone here at Sanford Stadium, leading it 24 to nothing. Pump fake by Beck, wants to go deep, and he's got Arian Smith wide open. He has to slow down. He catches it hip high at the 12, and then a soft jog into the end zone. The defender never could catch him. That's a touchdown. It was a fake bubble screen, and the entire Golden Eagle defensive backfield bit on it. Arian Smith running, nobody close to him. It's the kind of a quarterback that you're like, oh, my goodness, he's too wide open. I'm going to miss him. I'm going to miss him. And Carson just laid it up and almost allowed a Tech defender to catch up to Arian. But Georgia football is brought to you in part by Modelo, proud partner of the Georgia Bulldogs. Grab a refreshing, a refreshing Modelo Especial brewed for full-time Bulldogs fans. Drink responsibly. 
Jordan Yates again to take the snap at quarterback. He's running to the right. He dropped the football. It's loose at the 27-yard line, and there's a pile. Georgia is indicating they think they have it. Let's see. They're going to unstack them. Georgia does have it. Jordan Yates just dropped the football. The former Georgia Tech quarterback took the direct snap, ran to the right, just dropped it. Dan Jackson is the man out of the pile that recovered it. Georgia has it in the first turnover of the game. We'll give the football to the Dogs at the Tennessee Tech 27-yard line. Yeah, Yates had a, it was not going to have a huge game, but had a whole host of Bulldogs coming after him. He went to switch the football and change arms, and you're right, just put it right on the turf, and that host of Bulldogs running after him all jumped on the, the football and able to, able to secure it, and Dogs right back in business now. Dan Jackson, Chaz Chambliss, two leading the way. Dan Jackson with the savage pads on the Georgia bench. That was an unforced error by the Golden Eagles. Now Georgia will try to make them pay for the mistake. So first and 20 from the Golden Eagles 38-yard line. Man in motion is love it. Play fake by Beck. Sets up throws. All kinds of time. And a wide open receiver. Lawson Lucky caught at the 17. Down the near sideline and into the end zone. An easy waltz for a touchdown. Boy, great design play there. Or a great play design there by Mike Bobo. A little half sprint roll out to Carson's right. Lawson Lucky with a corner route on the back side away from where Carson's rolling. And you're right, not a white jersey in sight. And Carson Beck just tied the school record for most touchdown passes in a game. That's his fifth this afternoon. That one was 37 yards to Lawson Lucky. We're just Bulldogs wide open right now. From the Tennessee Tech 13-yard line. Give it to Robinson. He's fighting off defenders, running his way, bullying his way into the end zone straight ahead. Touchdown, Georgia. Boy, great power, strong, powerful run there by Robinson, nice cut right, right in the interior of the line of scrimmage there to find a little bit of daylight. Then just the strength took over. My goodness, kind of similar to his touchdown runs in the championship game against TCU. He was just running through would-be tacklers right into the end zone. 13-yard score for the Dogs. All right, the Dogs are going to try a 32-yard field goal. Peyton Woodring in the middle of the field between the hash marks kicking right and the kick is up and good out of the hold of Brett Thorson three more for the dogs makes it 48 to nothing and with that good kick the good hands at Allstate will contribute to the Georgia Bulldogs lifelong shutout stays intact 32 yard try Z by the left footed kicker here on the last play of the game there's the snap and the hold the kick is in the air and the kick is good <laughs> Well, moral victory. And the booze come well, yes, out from Tennessee the remaining Tech. Georgia faithful. And the folks left here in Sanford Stadium, let them hear about it. All right. Well, they scored their first points in the series. But Georgia is an easy winner today. Your final is 48 to nothing. And plenty to talk about after the game about this Georgia performance. 48 to 3. Excuse me. <laughs> I was hoping. I guess still wishing. <laughs> Just by habit, say 48 to nothing. No, it's 48 to three. That's the final score as Tennessee Tech gets on the board with a field goal on the last play of the game, 32-yard kick. So Georgia now 2-0 and getting ready to head to Lexington, Kentucky next Saturday for the SEC opener. We'll be there with you for the 7.30 kickoff next week, a 3.30 airtime for our pregame coverage here on the Bulldogs Sports Network. Thanks for being with us today for this one. And stay with us for our post-game coverage. Locker room show straight ahead. Final again, Georgia 48, Tennessee Tech 3 on the Georgia Bulldogs Sports Network.